Hey, beautiful people. My name is Kristen. Thank you for stopping by my book channel, Enter the Book. I have a brand new to me book subscription that I was going to put off starting because I am in process of moving. In fact, I've lost my microphone, so I apologize for the sound quality. I really do. I am going to try to edit it the best I can, but I know it's not going to be perfect. But I have a new mic on order, so it'll be a backup because I'm sure I'll find the other one. But this is a book subscription with the tax and shipping. It works out to, I think it was around $44 around that per, I think it's monthly. Um, but this one is Ireland and it's all about traveling to a different location. You can pick either fiction or nonfiction or both or a grand package with like, you know, a couple of each. <laughs> and then there's a couple, you know, like a bookmark and a drink and something from that area, if you will. So Ireland is the top of my bucket list, so I decided I gotta go ahead and go for it. So here it is, beautiful card on top. Nice, for sure. It has fun facts about Ireland, recipes, um, then a bunch of social media and scan me for more promos and uh, vacations with a travel agent so I can actually hook you up to go. And then it looks like there's a little envelope here with maybe more information. Wow. Okay, a portion of the proceeds from this box are donated to Vitamin Angels to provo provide life-saving nutrition to pregnant women and children. Thanks for making the world a better place. So there's a lovely picture. Doesn't say what country, it didn't look like Ireland. <laughs> um, the fall holiday journey, the backpacker. And then there's a list of everything. It says thank you for joining. Uh, yeah. And then, oh, this is cute too. These are little tissue. Very nice presentation. You open it up and look, oh, there's a kangaroo. That's not Ireland, that's Australia, but you know what? My college mascot is the kangaroo. So the Fair Dinkum Coffee Company House Blend Coffee. Let me see if it says, if it's flavored or anything. Nope, just says a small batch of coffee. And then, the Ohio Tea Company Irish Breakfast. Cool. So, Irish inspired tea. And this is loose tea, but I've got tons of diffusers, so that's perfect. And then I have a pair of socks from Ireland. The wool cotton blend. Yeah, they're not, they're not totally wool because they're not itchy. Those are cute. Um, there's a shamrock bookmark. That's pretty. I like that. I'll use that. Uh, ooh, it's a lovely card. Lovely card that you can use. I'm sending a lot of cards right now. And then there's a little four leaf clover charm that you could put on a bracelet or necklace or um, I'm trying to think what I'll do with it. I'm thinking I might just um, put it with my bookmark collections with one of my pins in the uh, collectors. All right, so I got two books. I got one fiction and one nonfiction. So this is Suzanne O'Leary's The Lost Girls of Ireland. The picturesque be beach of Wild Rose Bay is the last place Lydia Butler thought she'd be, but having just lost everything, the rundown cottage she inherited from her great aunt Nellie is the only place she can take her daughter Sunny. Hidden away in a tiny Irish village, she can protect Sunny from the gossip of Dublin, but the real reason is they have nowhere else to live. The cottage is part of the old Coast Guard station and other eccentric residents are quick to introduce themselves when Lydia arrives. 
Lydia instantly feels less alone, fascinated by the stories they have about Nellie. She's charmed by an American artist, Jason O'Callaghan, the mysterious man who lives next door. Doesn't it sound like a Hallmark movie? <laughs> it sounds just like a Hallmark movie. Uh, I probably read this in February. <laughs> it just seems like a good February romance. Sweet little... And then Finding Ireland, a poet's exploration of the Irish literature and culture. Oh, I mean, that sounds perfect for me. And I'm totally going to read this in November. November is nonfiction November. And I normally read one nonfiction a month. I usually try to read four. We'll see because I'm moving in the month of November and starting a new job in November. So maybe if I just read two, maybe three, that would be good. Because I'll still want to read my new release of my classic. <sighs> yeah. Hashtag goals. But I'm going to definitely put this on my TBR for November. And I think I'm going to save that other one for February. But this was a great box. I really, really liked it. I'm really pleased I got it. <laughs> and um, I'm going to have the little Trixie. Because I'm not sure about which address I need things mailed to for the next couple months. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Well, thank you for stopping by, taking time, like and subscribe, leave me a comment below if you get this or if you have another box that you get that you think I might be interested in or if you have another book on Ireland. Share that. Y'all take care. Appreciate it.